Well, lovely to hear that you have all these plans um, that you plan to put in motion if you are su successful at the polls. Um, but speaking of the polls, you may be seen as somebody that has one of the toughest fights in this election period because you are going up against the current prime minister. Um, how do you think your chances fare based on past elections where we've seen him being somebody that is successful by margins? What, how do you think you fear in this coming, upcoming el election? Good question. As I mentioned earlier, I have two worthy opponents. So it's not just me and him, it's someone else. But from what I'm hearing from people, some people are saying you have a good chance to take away a lot from him. And then a lot of people are saying you have a very good chance of winning. And when I hear things like that and I see the persons who are giving me the support, it's not a matter of if I'm going to win. It is the margin I'm going to win by. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, big talk. Let's go. <laughs> because, as the scripture says, with David and Goliath, even his brothers... Go back and look after the sheep. But what they didn't realize, the sheep looking after him, if you want to put it that way, prepared him. Because during the process, when they were not there, he defeated the lion. He defeated the bear to protect his sheep. And even when he went on the field and he told the king, no, no one, all the great men of war, freed Goliath. And David said, I'm going to take him. And you know why he was so confident? You know the story. You know who was with him and helped him when he was looking after the sheep. And it's the same philosophy here. Because I said how I reach here. And I don't think I'm going to reach here just to be a candidate. I'm going to reach here to be the representative. I'm here to be the representative. I'm, I'm the representative for Constituency 7. And what did David do? He didn't want the armor that the king provided for him because it was too big and too heavy. He said, I have something right here. And what I have right here is not the armor of a seasoned politician, but the armor of truth. The armor of being helpful to persons when I was not in, even thinking about being in politics. When I finish with this, I'm going to tell you why. I have the preparedness of mentalists from the training and the help that I had from people in the community. But most importantly, from my training in martial arts, from in the policing, from persons talking to me and telling to me, from reading the scriptures, from believing God, from faith in God, and that is very important. And looking around and seeing what was not taken care of. And I am saying, to give me the opportunity to take care of it. Because if I can see the problem, I'm going to fix it. Because remember, when Labour was in power, and when the present person came out, remember when we were talking about the motion of no confidence? Mm -hmm. Very vocal about it. But the same thing happened. Same thing happened. So yes, person might say he might be this big Goliath. Yes, I, I accept the fact that he's a powerful person in politics. But I am also a confident person and believe that God is going to take me through and the people will take me through because it is how good you are in politics. It is the people. And it's the people of Constituency 7 who's going to take me down for, take me down Church Street into the White House with my other colleagues, Pam and CCM, to form the next government of this great nation of St. Kitts And I have the support. They tell me they want change. And they will get the change because they are the ones who are going to create the change for me. So I'm glad for that question to let persons know that, yes, I acknowledge I have a well-seasoned politician, but at the end of the day, we had a song one time, Small Axe Cut Them Big Tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm. And sometimes the unknown bring things to remembrance and persons will see the unknown amplify what have not been seen or been overlooked. And then the known or the unknown take down what is there because what happened. Sometimes because of certain situations and instances, 
persons are blind and deaf to what is happening around them until someone or something comes to point out these errors. And then persons will say, I didn't realize that was happening. So I do not have to go much into things. People know what, I ha what is happening. That shouldn't happen. And I'm calling on persons, if you want that change, and I know you want that change, vote for Lincoln David Pelling constituency seven. I'm also going out and say vote for Mr. Flanders.